When he held the ball last night, he got in big trouble. Because mm -hmm. my pass rush was bringing thunder last they were, night. They were. Whew. Against that offensive line, I could have yeah. got, got a pressure. Really? At least well, two pressure against that what? offensive line. We've added this guy named Michael Bennett. He's a difference maker to me. You got a sack and yeah. four hits. He wears yeah. those tiny little kicker pads. <laughs> <and> he just <laughs> comes after you, man. smaller shoulder yeah. pads. It is. It is. <laughs> he doesn't seem to care. But, boy, he was hitting with those little yeah. shoulder pads. He was huh. hitting the quarterback. And the, the whole, listen, Sean Lee played his best game in he did. at least three he years. Feel, and that's what, that's what I was impressed by, is that the defense really still played well without yeah. their star linebacker, Leighton Vander Esch, who was yeah. on the sideline. Yeah. Sean Lee stepped in, looked he really did. good, like looked you just really said. Good. Jalen Smith, the, the D-line right. looked pretty good. And so you do have a defense that can travel, right, on let the ask road. A question. And that's the one thing that you can, you can depend let, on. Let me ask you a question. You turned the ball over that night in New Orleans. You win right. that game? Yeah. You, you can do that against a bad football team. Yeah. You can give them the ball on the eight-yard line, and you do. Turn the ball over to New England. Yeah. Turn, not New England. New Orleans. Turn the ball over at Lambeau mm -hmm. yeah. and see what happens. Well, so okay, well, wait a second. If they turn it over against Teddy Bridgewater, I think the defense would have done the same thing. I don't think so. Well, I don't know. I don't think so. Well, so, Jenny, back to your question, yeah. because right now the path to the Super Bowl in the NFC looks like it's going to go through either San Fran You're or right. through New Orleans. Yep. And so you turn the football over to either one of those teams in that same exact scenario, that's going to be seven points. <laughs> and that's going to be, <laughs> and if it's in the playoffs, right, it's magnified ten Pay times. double. You pay double yeah, for turnovers in the playoffs. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> and you know your guy is capable of having multiple. Mm. <laughs> what happened late last year when New Orleans visited Dallas? Do you remember that game? But they won't happen again because they don't have to come I back. Drew Brees threw for yeah. 127 yards in that mm -hmm. game. Mm -hmm. Because my defense, on occasion, can good. rise up the and they shut good. you down. Yeah, they look and, good. and think about what they did last night to save this offense. So, so Dak throws the early pick. They get it. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, the home team gets it. First and goal at the eight. Mm -hmm. Field goal. Then New York has it. First and 10 at the Dallas 12. Next drive. Field goal. First and 10 at the 13. Field goal. First and 10 at the 11. Mm -hmm. Field goal. That, that's extraordinary. Yeah, that's Daniel Jones. That ain't Aaron Rodgers. Mm. That's not Drew Brees. Mm. Yep. That's what you're going to see in the playoffs. Well, that's Saquon. That Jimmy G. Saquon. Skip, that offense will really uh, stop. Well, start. <laughs> if he's that guy, he could get, he can cash one of those. Well, y'all, you know who you're going to see in the playoffs? Yeah. You'll probably see Tevin Coleman or Breda. Okay. You're going to see Lam uh, Murray. Mm. You're going to see one of those guys. Okay. You want to see that in the play? That's what you're going to see. You're going to see Alvin Kamara. Alvin! Yeah. Remember what happened when you went down to New Orleans? That's what you're going to go back to. You remember what happened when Kamara played at Jerry World last they, year on a Thursday night? They won't have went to, nowhere. They won't have to play there. Because yeah. like they're going to have the better time. record. Oh. You guys are not catching them. Oh, okay. It's over. Teddy Bridgewater mm. and Drew Breesy is back. Mm. He came back first game and threw five twos. Really? Yeah. All I care about is that they win the division. They, 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 it's going to cost you so much. Y'all not winning the division. Y'all not winning the division. Really? I, I think we're in perfect position. I, yeah, I, I love it. Because yeah. I love a horse that's out front, yeah. and then the other horse come behind him and get him at the tape. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's how it works? Yep. <laughs> and then what? You're gonna be, it's going to hurt you so bad. This is going to hurt, Skip. Because you've been, you had to leave for a long time. It's gonna, it hurts more to be out in front. See, a person that's never had... Yep. Don't have anything. He don't. It, it, okay, they cut my lights off. I don't care. Mm. But imagine you being in the penthouse yeah. and they throw your butt out. Really? Ooh, it hurt. You being in the penthouse, I'm gonna kick you right on that eagle. Mm. Get out. Mm. <laughs> you need to respond to that one at all, Skip? Yeah. <laughs> the point is, my quarterback made a horrendous mistake to start the game, yeah. and then he patted himself, saying, "My fault." Yeah. Who fault was it, Reggie? Yeah. Who threw that ball? Okay, Hit the man he in the bread basket. He took it publicly. Okay, let me ask you a question. The blame. Okay, so you said he's on. The, you said he had it first and goal at the 10, first and goal at yeah. 11, first and mm -hmm. goal. Okay, that's New Orleans. Mm -hmm. They're going to keep my the end zone four times. We're talking about my quarterback. Oh, no, 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 I'm saying no. You say your defense. You yeah. say your defense. No, oh, my I'm defense. talking about my quarterback's football. Oh, but your quarterback. So Skip, what, he what, played good. Okay, what did he do the next time they had the ball? Second mm -hmm. possession. This is the next play. It's yep. the second play of right. their offensive game. He goes all the way around the circle in the huddle, and he fist bumps every, all yeah. 10 of his yeah. teammates. That's a sign say, of a great leader. Yeah, That's I got a great this. Leader. It was my fault, yeah. and it's not going to happen again. Yeah. And then he checks out of the play called at the line of scrimmage so he can throw the same slant to the same receiver that got picked. Mm -hmm. So he throws it to Michael Gallup for 18 yards mm -hmm. just to say, was a great watch throw. this. Whoa. I'm going to get right back on throw. this horse, and I'm going to ride this. Yes. Reggie, did you see uh, 56 for the Giants out there? I did. <laughs> Did you see no. uh, you, Lawrence Taylor? Was he I, I saw him on the sideline. Okay, what, oh, what about, about Lawrence Taylor? Yeah. <laughs> what about 92? No. With straight hand out there. What about Tuck? No. What about Osi? <laughs> what did I hear from you all last year? 
Jackrabbit, he puts his cuffs on it, I right? I thought you were talking about the guy who almost picked it yeah, that he used to it, and he oh, barely yeah. threw the yeah. football over. That's what uh, I thought. That was 55. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> you, you talking like the Giants got LT and straight hand and tuck and OC out there. Mm. They don't! It's, been a little bit. it's yeah. division rivalry, and you gave them all the momentum early on. But yeah. skill. You gave it every... You, you, you had to it, dig out of a deep hole. Even, even division rivalry. When you can bring in a rookie quarterback to get the break beat off of. Because that's what happened when, when they okay. brought to San Diego, when they had Ryan Leaf. Okay, mm -hmm. what had happened on October 13th in that very same stadium? They went in there, the Dallas Cowboys, and just stunk it up. Yeah. It was the worst, the most embarrassing loss, the biggest upset of the whole year, this oh, year. Oh, yeah. yeah, and then what happens? Oh, yeah. New York is up 9-3 to three last night, driving, and he had just completed a 15-yard pass to give them both the 20-yard line. I'll tell you what happened. The black cat happened. It ran out <laughs> of the field. Something. Yeah. And all of a sudden, you don't, think, you don't think a lot of the Cowboys are thinking, wait a second, this is our house dude, of horrors. The dude yeah. scrambling gets yeah. the first down, blue, 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 fumble the ball. Okay. Throw an interception well, right wait, before that, the half. That's not what happened then. They're on, a, on the way to leading 16 to 3. Mm -hmm. If they get up 16 to 3, I'm not sure we can win that game because that stadium's going to go berserk yeah. and it's going to be the black cat's doing, you know, yeah, that he... That he their advantage. The black cat was the undoing. Well, it was the undoing <laughs> because from the black cat on, my team won 34 to 9. Yeah. So maybe the black cat was after the Giants. So we're going to learn a lot this next game, man, against well, the Minnesota say. Vikings I'd because Minnesota's a good team. Yep. They're at home, yep. which they should win this football Odell game at home. Yeah. Who's the quarterback of the Vikings? I Help mean, me I, well, that doesn't matter right you now, Skip. Doesn't matter. Dalvin Cook. Name is Kirk Cousins, and <laughs> for years he was a Washington Redskin. Yep. And the arch rivals of the Cowboys are the Redskins. And he went 0 and 4 against Dak uh, Prescott. That's a different team. 0 and 4. They okay. Got they got a defense. They got Dalvin. They got two good receivers, though one of them might one not be able to down. play. Yeah, that's... But they still have a good tight end, and we'll see if Kirk Cousins so is still that guy. Or they not. should win this game. He's then. got a lot of time to make up for. I'm it. saying Dallas should win this game because right. Kirk Cousins. That's what I'm saying. Still Kirk Cousins, game, absolutely. yes, absolutely. No, no, no. All yep. right, but we're going to move on because <laughs> I've heard be enough trouble. of that one for now to some college football while we yep. have Reggie here. Alabama might see the return of Tua Tungo-Vailoa on Saturday as the number two tied face off against number one LSU. Tua underwent surgery after suffering a high ankle injury on October 20th. He participated in passing drills in practice yesterday, and according to Nick Saban, is a game-time decision against the Tigers. So, Reggie, what is your early feeling on this matchup? Huge matchup. It, depends, it all depends on Tua. Yeah. If Tua plays, they got a really good shot. Obviously, the game's in Alabama. Mm -hmm. Um, but, I mean, Joe Burrow is playing lights out. He's yeah. a Heisman front runner right now. Mm. They got the number one offense in college football right now. And I I'm just... The one thing that worries me is you're trying Tua out this week, I know, right? Like, you right. don't already have a, a good idea if he's going to play or if he's not going to play. And I don't know if this is the game. Is this the defense that you want to bring him yeah. back on when you're not 100% sure if he's 100%, right? He just had surgery two weeks ago. Now, I didn't know about this new surgery that they got I didn't that know. helps you get back a lot faster. Wild. Uh, it, it is crazy. I wish I had this when I was playing. I probably would have got back a lot quicker. But it really all is dependent on Tua because I think also this game could mean, could be the difference in who wins the Heisman, yeah. right? If Tua plays True. lights out. Oh, Tua finna win the Heisman on this game right here. Oh, is he? Yeah, he gonna throw five tubs. <laughs> oh, okay. Come back, throw five tubs. I got TT. You have no concern on the Go, injury? They won 31 straight. Hmm. They don't lose there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. now, this is a different type of LSU team, Skip. Normally, they'll run the football, play mm -hmm. defense. Mm -hmm. Now, they'll strictly spread it, throw it down the yeah. field. Neither defense is what we would typically think of as an LSU or an Alabama-type defense. Yep. Yeah. But then wide receivers, see, the thing that could cause to a problem, which is pressure, LSU doesn't do a, whole jo a great job of generating it. And what mm -hmm. Tua does is that all he needs to do, Judy, Ruggs, yeah. Devontae Smith, mm -hmm. just putting their hands quick. And we to the house. Jerry Judy cannot be covered. <laughs> he, does, he is oh, one of the best. And then we got ru and then we got rugs. And we we loaded. Yeah. Mm. Bama. Mm. And Dang. we got that's that. We got to keep it. We, you know, Kate. Like, you like to think he gonna lose in Tuscaloosa? Mm. You want me to think that Cam or somebody? Uh, I've seen LSU win in Tuscaloosa. You know, win. Wasn't it nine to six? Wasn't that? No, that, I, that was in Al wasn't that in LSU? I thought that was it. Tuscaloosa. I'm not going to say they don't have a shot yeah. because Joe Burrow has showed up in all the yeah. best games. When they needed him the most, Alabama, he balled out. Hey, he plays, he shows up and plays well in, his, in, in the games where they need him most. 
So, again, it's going to come down to if Tua can play or not. If yeah. he doesn't play, mm. I think LSU has a really good show. Joe Burrow, I love because yeah. he does compete. He competes hard. Absolutely. He is not afraid of anybody. Not at all. Not at all. But I got to tell you, that LSU, I watched LSU at Texas. Yeah. And Texas scored yeah. 38 on LSU. And Texas is not that good. <laughs> no. They've fallen to five and three now. Yeah. So, 38 on that defense, even yeah. though there's Grant Delpit and the Stingley mm. kid who are, look like they're yeah. studs. They look like they, they're really good. I, I, I don't too. know. I, I just Stingley think, ain't going to be able to cover Jerry Judy. No, he's not. <laughs> I, oh, I do I have probably about Street 54, Can yeah. you just. <laughs> Cool it with yep. the Tua. You I think are you obsessed got this. with the guy. I think you got this. Uh, and I guess who ain't going to win the Heisman? Hmm. Yo guy. Hmm. Who? You know your guy. Jalen Hurts. That, he's yeah, not yeah. out of it. He out of it. Yeah. When Tua thought he's five and yeah. 400, he out of it. Yeah, if Jalen Hurts could play dual safety, if he could be the, both the safety whoa, and you, whoa, maybe they could whoa, win a game. Yeah. Well, okay. and, and neither one of them turned the football over. Nope. So that's the one thing that's I love about thing. both these quarterbacks. Mm. Coach O winless against Alabama. Hey, he'll keep that streak alive. For LSU. Keep oh, that streak alive. That's the number that concerns me a little <laughs> bit. But hey, got to make up for some stuff. Reggie, good to have you as always. We're going to transition to the Patriots. Do they have a reason to worry after their first loss? Eric Mangini, he mm. joins us.